I'm still reading. I gotta read more. I'm really trudging through um, Swiss Family Robinson. But I did finish um, The Way of the Lion. Charles Williams, The Place of the Lion, is another one within the Inklings that puts forth articulations that have been in my mind, but I, was never, I wasn't able to articulate them. And if I were to articulate them, people would just call me crazy. If you ruminate on real applied wickedness, you'll do some serious damage to yourself. It's not worth it. Read the good to escape the bad. The bad will, it's like being possessed. It'll, it's like a virus. When I read Proverbs, that changed my life about a year and a half ago. That cha I read that, I said, oh my God. There's no point reading, there's no point reading things outside of the sacred texts. There's really not. It's just, it, de it just depends on where you're at and the your your fortitude or your i don't know how awake you are how woke you are i mean i know the words have been co-opted but i don't care how woke you are how awoken you are to recognizing a true system of control that that is a sort of a prerequisite to being able to process real wisdom and all the real wisdom you need has been written thousands of years ago. They're in the sacred texts. You don't need anything else. Everything else is just a waste of time. The works of C.S. Lewis, Dostoevsky, among many others, your recommendation of the Space Trilogy saved me. I really appreciate that, man. C.S. Lewis was a bona fide, real deal, real deal. He was real deal. Remember, fiction has meaning, the sacred texts have meaning. I mean, movies are good, plays are good. Like, I understand it. You can, get, you can get to a lot of places, but wisdom is what I mean. The wisdom in Proverbs that, I, that hit me, they hit me like a freaking pneumatic monorail underground New York City. It hit me something so crazy. It's absolutely unbelievable. Prophecies come true because this is there's been many 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 fulfillments of prophecies it just that's just how it works every time because a system a system cannot it's only a, whether it's cataclysm whatever the heck whether it's revolt something always ends it no matter what maybe it's the creator being goaded to destroy the earth i have no idea i have no idea but it's a cyclical thing that always happens every time and the fulfillment of prophecy is meme, it's sort of memed out by the, uh, the, the ghouls that run the system. Their religion is to make these prophecies come true, whether by hook or by crook, or by a divine intervention. Regardless, it comes true. You see what I'm saying? Technology gets lost and they never planned on it coming back. Oh, it always comes back, man. It only comes back when it's out of the reach of the citizens or the children of God. It only comes back when it's out of their reach. If you got free energy, easy transport, and zeppelins, air travel, travel underground, that's very easy. Can't have that when you're running a prison, can you? You gotta have people always on the ropes. They don't have time to think of how enslaved they really are. Instead, they get mad at, you know, races and religions and things like that. Those, those, they, they can very, those topics can very easily occupy the rubes that have no idea what blindness really means. How air and light and thought can be manipulated. People have no idea. They rage at the inmates until those inmates become their jailers. The end of civilization was the, the reinvention of the printing press. It led to digital books, which can now be patched up against your will. Things can be printed, and then that's gospel. But if it's, if it's passed on through the elders and what they remembered, well, then you can't really lie to people. They just throw those people in asylums till they die. And then the printing press takes care of the rest. The printing press was the worst invention in history. It, it, it spelled doom for all future generations. Waking up 
in the morning if nothing you do is memorable? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm working on plan A.